If you like really weird beauty product reviews, then today's video is perfect for you because we're going to be reviewing this crazy looking Dr. Jart mask and putting it to the test. Let's see if it's worth your coins. Hey fam, welcome back to another video. It's your girl Jensine. If you're new here and you want to see if this mask is worth your coins, don't forget to subscribe. I upload every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. And if you're an oldie but a goodie subby, hey boo, it's nice to see you again. So, today's video, obviously, we're gonna be taking a look at this crazy looking mask with this strange, like, alien, artificial, baby looking thing on the front. Maybe I'm gonna look like this, I'm not really sure. <laughs> But if you've been watching my videos for a little bit, uh, you would have seen that I hauled this from the Sephora VIB sale. So I did get 15% off the original price, which is $12. But this is only one mask, so that's quite a bit expensive for one mask. You know, usually you would like to see a couple, maybe three to four masks for that $12 price tag. So we gotta test and see if it's worth it. So this is gonna be like a first impressions, you know, kind of review. And um, I'm not wearing a stitch of makeup today. I kind of wanted this to be a little bit more chill since, you know, we're reviewing skincare, obviously I'm not gonna have makeup on. Anyway, before we get into this review, if you like this video and you wanna see how this product performs, give this a thumbs up, please. And um, yeah, let me slather this stuff all over my face. So we have this little packet here, which I guess is full of the liquid, which I'm supposed to apply to my face. And when you take it out, this is what both of these look like. Like I said, the liquid is in here, and this is the actual mask that you apply to seal in all those benefits. All right, so this thing is pretty easy to peel open. I like that it's kept sealed, and this is not a lot of liquid that they put in here, so let's just see. Hopefully it'll cover everything. Oh, this is nice. It's actually pretty, pretty thick. I'm gonna tap it just under my eye. I'm like taking it from the little top as well. Wow, this is really thick. Oh, oh, it fell in my boob. Mm, it's cold. <laughs> so on the back of the packaging, it says that the brightening ingredients are gently absorbed into the skin. The Vitaplex is vitamin A, B, C, E, and grapefruit extract. Um, they're supposed to moisturize the skin, you know, help even out uneven skin tone, and give you a radiant, healthy look. All right, I like that. All right, now for the mask part. So it looks like this is a two-part mask. <laughs> it's like gelatin. <laughs> kind of funny. It actually says that the rubber mask part has um, active ingredients to prevent the serum from evaporating and it's got a brown seaweed extract which is a marine component. It's got kelp, uh, sea mustard, and sargassum, don't know what that is, to soothe any irritation caused by dryness. Okay so the good thing is that I can actually speak <laughs> this thing kind of feels like jelly and I mean I could definitely move around do stuff without fear of it falling off my face it's kind of like a little suction you know what I mean I will say that this thing was kind of messy like I feel like I need to go wash my hand it does say to leave this on for about 30 to 40 minutes um, I do kind of wish it was a little bit easier to reposition because it's gelatin, I kind of dug my nail in there. So if you have long nails, this might be kind of hard for you because you got to get that placement just right on the first time. Tell me down in the comments what you guys think. Would you try this mask out? Because I want to know. I mean, so far, so good. We got to check out the results. I'm going to come back in about 30 to 40 minutes. We're going to take this off and see the final reveal. All right, it's time to take this bad boy off. Ooh. <laughs> oh my god, I feel so weird. Oh, feels good to take it off. 
As you can see, I've got some residuals going on here. So they say once you remove everything, you can massage the rest of the fluid into your skin. There's still a lot left on, so I'm just gonna dab it away. Okay guys, so here are my final thoughts. Initially, the whole application of the mask is like super, super, super messy. I definitely suggest doing this at night when you've got some time, you're winding down for the evening, and you can just wash your hands and just relax, you know, at home or do whatever you need to do. I did notice that the actual mask felt so cooling. So if you have any irritation on your skin, it's gonna feel so good. And I do notice definitely got that radiance going on. The only thing that I don't like is the places where the mask wasn't, I can see there's like a color difference. So I'm thinking that it did brighten up those areas and then the surrounding areas like around my hairline are still dark. Um, next time when I do use this mask, I'm gonna take the residual serum and just put that along the hairline and my neck uh, right away so that way they can just kind of like marinate together if that makes sense. But I'm really feeling this. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think after seeing the final result. Is this something that you would buy? Is this something that you would pass on? And if you have any experiences using this, please let me know down in the comments. Don't forget to check out my playlist on all of my beauty reviews that I've done in the past. There are some real gems in there. And I love you guys and I will see you in the next video. Bye.